수익률 4,200%의 신화를 쓴 월가의 전설, 짐 로저스. 그는 수많은 실패와 몇 번의 성공으로 지금의 자리에 올랐습니다. 시장이 바닥을 치는 시기에도 놀라운 수익률을 기록했던 투자의 귀재 짐 로저스가 위대한 수업을 찾았습니다. 투자, 어떻게 해야 할지 막막하다면, 또 실패했던 경험 때문에 두렵다면. 오늘 그의 강연을 주목해 주세요. 투자는 이렇게 하는 겁니다. Welcome to We Day Han Suup. My name is Jim Rogers. No, I didn't know anything about investing. I happen to have a summer job on Wall Street. 
And if they see someone else who's in economic trouble and has to sell his assets, it's probably an opportunity for you to buy someone's assets. So the main lesson is, please do not get over indebted. Please do not get too much debt that you cannot handle. Nothing wrong with debt. Nothing wrong with debt. If you have the right amount of debt and if you don't get too extended and you can pay it back, then everybody's happy. So great fortunes have been made throughout history by people who borrow money and use it well, whether it's in shipping or property or whatever it is, investing. If people get overextended though, and they borrow too much money, and they cannot pay it back, that's when you have the problem. If something goes wrong, and something is always going wrong in the world, so be sure that you have enough assets and enough liquidity, enough uh, opportunity to do something, so that if a crisis comes, that you can survive the crisis and maybe even take advantage of other people's. Whenever there's something like that that I think is temporary, it can cause prices to drop a lot, but that could be an opportunity. Many people make mistakes and that usually leads to opportunity. It also means that the people who make mistakes lose everything or go bankrupt, but therein lies an opportunity for those who then can step in with money or brains and take advantage of the opportunities. If you don't know, please read a little bit and you will find that we have, we human beings have been making mistakes for hundreds of years and people have been suffering, but the people who are alert and smart and solvent can take advantage of those opportunities. I have found that when I do not do enough research, I, I usually lose money. Uh, so I have learned that I better do a lot of research to be sure I know what I'm doing. Because when I get lazy and when I get sloppy, I usually lose money. I would like to blame it on you, but it's usually my fault. Well, you know, when, you, when I lost everything, it happens to many people. They commit suicide, they run away, they become priests. You know, I didn't want to be a priest or commit suicide. So all I could do was start over, start saving my money, and then invest again, which is what I did. I did not give up, and I just kept starting over, kept trying again, trying to learn from my mistakes, and eventually I had success. But. I can tell everybody, I know you're unhappy. I know you're despondent. And all I can tell you is don't give up, start over and learn from your mistakes. Most people don't want to hear that. You know, they want an easy answer. They want to say, what do I do next? How do I have success? I don't know. If you listen to hot tips or if you listen to advice from other people, you're not going to learn, and you're probably going to have more failures, more mistakes. So my only, the only thing I know is I'm unhappy, but now all I can do is start over and learn and try to get it better next time. There's a word I'm trying to teach my children, and it's apropos, it's persevere. It's the English word persevere. Persevere means keep trying. We all know smart people who are not successful. We know educated people who are not successful. We know beautiful people who are not successful. We know talented people who are not successful. The people who are successful are the people who never give up. The crazy people who just persevere, persevere, persevere. I'm trying to teach my children that's the most important word. Persevere, persevere, persevere. You know, I, if I do, I don't know them. I try to make sure I do a, enough research, enough homework. Everybody knows a lot about something. If you love fashion, it's great. I know nothing about fashion, but if you love fashion and you look at it every day and you read the magazines and you go on the internet, 
Learn to think so that when you see something new, when you see something changing that you know is going to work, try to think like an investor and say, ah, this is going to work. Now, how do I invest in that? Well, first of all, you have to make sure. You have to do research. You think it's going to work, but then you do, you read other things. You figure out if it's really going to work. And if, if it's a new change that's really going to work, then you can find out how to invest. There's a company somewhere that is going to make money from the change. Mm -hmm. Figure out who they are. Figure out if they're smart people. Mm -hmm. Figure out if they know what they're doing. Figure out if they have a lot of debt. Do all the things that you need to research. And then, if you're sure, make an investment. And then call me. Only listen to yourself. Only invest in what you yourself know a lot about. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to other people. And the last thing you want to do, you do not want to listen to hot tips. We all want to get rich this week. I want to get rich this week. But I know that hot tips and listening to other people's gobble, gobble, gobble is not going to help you. It's going to hurt you. Because if things go up, you don't know what to do. You don't know why you bought it. If things go down, you don't know what to do because you don't know why you bought it. If I told you you can only have 25 investments in your life, you would be very careful. You wouldn't be jumping in and out all the time. You would stay in carefully invested, careful investments that you know a lot about, and you would become very successful. So many financial markets have gone up so much in the past few years, and I hope you remember you're supposed to buy low and sell high. Not buy high and hope it goes higher, buy low and sell high. Well, I don't own any bonds at the moment. Bonds uh, are very good and legitimate and long-term, a long-time uh, asset class. I don't own any because bonds went up to all-time highs recently. Bonds have never been as high in history as they were recently, so that's not for me. Many property, I don't own much property because I don't know anything that's cheap enough and I just haven't looked hard enough. If I could buy property really depressed somewhere, I might. When governments find economic problems, they usually print a lot of money and printing money usually goes into real assets, hard assets. So the price of silver usually goes up when they print a lot of money. The price of sugar, the price of rice, usually goes up when people print a lot of money because the value of the money goes down. So something has to go. If the price of money is going down, something goes up. Well, I have never bought nor sold a cryptocurrency, so I'm neutral. Some people have made a lot of money trading cryptocurrencies. Many have lost fortunes. Many cryptocurrencies have already disappeared and gone to zero. People don't talk about that very much, but many cryptocurrencies have gone to zero. And in my view, many more will go to cryptocurrency to zero. But no, I've certainly I've researched. I, I don't know if I've done enough, but I've done enough research of cryptocurrencies to know they're not for me. And I don't see a reason to invest in them unless you're a good trader and I don't bother. I don't like trading. But at the moment, the way the world is, I see no reason that I would ever invest in, buy or sell a cryptocurrency. Maybe someday I would sell short. Selling short is something you do if you think things are going to collapse. So if I ever thought the cryptocurrencies were going to collapse, maybe I would sell them short. But at the moment, I doubt that I would ever be investing in cryptocurrencies.